Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonin here again, and today we're going to be going over Kaminari in My Hero 1 Justice 2 Remix Edition. So Kaminari, in this version of the game, I feel like is a lot more, is a lot closer to how he is in the anime and the manga, and that is a gl dumb glass cannon character. Like, <laughs> he can pack quite a punch, but also like if you make one wrong move, you're kind of killing yourself, and you can make a lot of mistakes and you'll get comboed, and obviously it has to do with, like, his quirk too, because in this version of the game, it does hella damage, and it, you can hold it for such a long time. Like, 9,000 for a single, like, special move is pretty crazy, but, yeah. So let's just get into how Kaminari is different. So, um, I don't know why I said that, because honestly, he's not that different. The only real difference is to how his quirk 2 really works into his playstyle. So now his quirk 2 kind of works the way, like, the first hit are, like, actually hits, so you, you can combo into it more easily so after you do something like this this is like actually gonna be a combo and I can hold it down as much as I like it also is a bit better at wall splatting wait let me just go back into normal form if I do a simple combo like this it is a bit better at throwing the opponent into the wall than it usually is and also you can hold it kind of like as long as you want like you were able to hold it in the original game you were able to hold it like for different lengths, but in this version, you can literally just hold it as long as you like until you blow up, and it will continue to hit the opponent the whole time. As you can see here, I can just hold it down until I've just <laughs> hit Bakugo as much as I can, and I go into the yay mode. So, how does that fit into his playstyle? Um, kind of just exactly how you'd expect. So basically, when you're playing Kaminari, you're just gonna be doing things like this into a yellow attack, into his tilt quirk 2, into his quirk 2. And you release it, uh, wait, and I'll quickly just talk about this, so how, um, let me go back into normal mode. So when you're holding down his Quirk 2, you kind of just want to hold it down until it, it starts doing the really small damage, because as you can see, it does really big damage for a bit, and then it gets into like really little damage, and you don't want to bother holding it down all the way through there, because then you just can get way too close to the yay mode. So you basically hold it down until like it stops doing the massive chunks of damage, and then that's how you're going to be doing combos, so stuff like this. Ten thousand, and you can get a wall spot, and then go in for the same thing again. Until the opponent is media blown, and there we go. Thirteen thousand seven hundred, zero dash cancels, and very easy. Now this is what I'm talking about with Dinky being a glass cannon, and obviously in all of these combos he's using his energy a lot, and so he's going to be getting. He builds a lot closer to his yay mode than he does in the regular game because there's like actually more use for him to use his quirk 2 and stuff because it's like a really powerful tool you can get big damage so you constantly go be you're going to constantly be going into yay mode and getting charged up more and more and doing crazy stuff you know i throw him over there maybe go for like try and go for a reset or something land on him i can probably get another combo in here so like all of this damage like geez 13,500 but then I'm into yay mode so you can get like about one or two or maybe three like big combos in before you go into yay mode which is completely crazy like that is a ton of damage that he can just cash out on but obviously you do need to be careful because you know it is kind of like a countdown when you're in yay mode because you know while you're standing in it he does charge up over time and when you use projectiles he builds it up slowly so you just want to be careful but like honestly there's not too much to be worried about he's a crazy character and so a combos that um he can do when he's in this more charged up state is something like this and make sure you let the um the hits from the oops <laughs> make sure you let all the hits from the end of the attack string um hit or not all of them but most of them hit because they're what like do the chunk of damage in your combo so if you do something like this and you can put in a dash cancel As we saw that before, it can do like from 14,000 to 15,000 depending on how charged up you are. It's pretty crazy. And uh, if you want to do a dash cancel when you're in this state, you can do something like this. Oh, oops, wait, you need to be wall to do that one. Uh, but you can do something like this. And then that's gonna be really good damage as well. Like that's a dash cancel, but 12,000 damage is still ridiculous. And now you're in the charged up state, so you're just gonna do massive damage anyways. <laughs> and then he gets 12,000 damage for free when he's charged up. It's totally crazy. This character is ridiculous. 
in this version, but I kind of like it. And it fits in very well, because you can kind of just do go crazy, do simple stuff, but you also have to be kind of careful, because, you know, you're a glass cannon, you're going to go into the, into the yay mode, and you're going to get punished for it. So, you need to be uh, careful of that. And that's obviously why, like, Tsuyu is best girl for Kaminari. Like, you absolutely need Tsuyu if you're playing with Kaminari. She's just the most useful support, especially in this version, where you're going to be constantly... Like going into yay mode after using your quark 2 so much. So like, oh, I'm in yay mode, let me call to you. Takes me out of yay mode, lets me chase the opponent down and stuff, and gets out of the punish that the opponent would have done. And uh, she's also good for extending combos, as I'm sure you know. It's just like the regular version of the game. It works the exact same way. You can call her out, and then it kind of interrupts the plus ultra one. But honestly... Like, this does do really good damage, like, geez, 17,000. But honestly, you probably don't really need to do that all the time, because you can get really big, chunky damage anyways. You don't probably need to spend an entire plus ultra to do that. Like, if I'm charged up a bit, I can probably get that without a plus ultra. But obviously, um, supports like Jiro as well can also be used to combo from his plus ultra. It just takes a little bit more timing. That's why people like to use Jiro. I mean, like to use, um... To you because she has less strict timing for extending on it but obviously see even with Jiro you can get huge damage off of your plus ultra one would have been even more if I was charged up here I'll do it again while I'm charged see how much damage I can get oh my god no no I messed up the timing and now I'm probably gonna be too charged up to do a full combo we'll see There we go, I managed to do a full combo. So yeah, it's a, like an extra thousand damage, so it's ridiculous either way. He's gonna he hits like a truck, but he's gonna be constantly going into yay mode if you're like not careful. And uh yeah, basically that's that's just how Kaminari is in this version of the game. He's very similar to his old version, just now he's a bit more he can be a bit more YOLO and crazy and you can just do simple stuff and cash out on huge damage. Like he still has this stuff as well with the like the charged quote too. you can get, like, what, 11,000 for free, zero dash cancels from the normal state, like, okay. And, like, when he's in this version, if he just holds this down, he's getting, like, nearly 11,000 for free. It's crazy. He can just, he's, like, yeah, exactly like he is in the anime. He's, like, dumb, you can do simple stuff, but, you know, be kind of careful, because you're a glass cannon, and if you cash out on too much damage, you're gonna kill yourself. But, uh, yeah, that's basically Kaminari. Let me think of some... Comp like, there honestly isn't too many combos to show. Like, you can combo off of your plus ultra with both of your... With both of these supports. Like, almost any combo support you can combo off of. Or you can use your Tsuyu, obviously, to, like, pick you up um, out of... Out of your plus ultra one. Which is what I use a lot of the time, because I'll always have Tsuyu to grab me out of the... Out of the yay mode. <laughs> and, um... Uh, yeah, depending on what supports you have, you can probably also consistently combo off of your, um... It's a bit hard with Jiro, and it's kind of hard timing. But you can do something like this with Jiro. You need to time exactly when her thing's coming out and when you let go. There we go. And yeah, that's Kaminari. <laughs> In Remix. There's not too much to say, like, he's just crazy character, does tons of damage for very simple stuff and yep, that's literally it he just, he'll just hurt you and then he might kill himself in the process but he's gonna hurt you <laughs> anyways guys um, I'm gonna move on to the next character now I will uh, see you in the next one, thanks for watching, see you there